If you're following along with the series, playlist in the cards now, we've just defeated Royal Ludroth in the quest Current Events, and if you followed my advice, you've also cleared the quest in the name of Hot Water to hunt another Royal Ludroth to upgrade the Hot Spring. Royal Ludroth actually gives us some pretty great equipment to take on Baroth, so I'll be using it for this hunt. As I've explained in the Royal Ludroth video, the armor set from Royal Ludroth, with some decorations, is an extremely good low rank armor set for hammers, bows, and dual blades. Especially if you're using the water element, because they give you skills that improve your stamina. Watch that video for more information. I'll be using one stream jewel and five grinder jewels. We need one slot in our weapon or talisman for this to work. Which is fine, because my chosen weapon, the Royal Ludroth Dual Blades Ludroth Pair, has one weapon slot. For the five grinder jewels, you'll need aqua glow jewels, great jaggy claws, and macolite ore. For the stream jewel, you'll need to download OBS and sell your soul to anyone who will pay you to shill their product so you can afford to pay for food and rent. Speaking of which, this video is sponsored by Ray. You'll need a Sunspire Jewel and a Royal Ludroth Crest for the Stream Jewel. The jewels in Macolite Ore can be obtained through mining. Ideally, we could go to the volcano for these, but since we don't have access to it yet, you'll just need to keep mining until you get one. If you're really desperate, you can buy Aqua Glow Jewels from the Farm Manager, but they may be a bit expensive at this point, and you may want to save your Yukimo points for upgrading the farm. If you really can't make the Stream Jewel, you can use the Royal Ludroth Cap instead of the Helmet. Using that with the Blade Master armor will give you less physical defense, but enough points for water attack plus one without a decoration. It's also way cuter if you're playing a female oh character. God, this also works if you don't have a spare weapon slot, as you'll have the five slots in your armor to get speed sharpening with. If you'd prefer not to farm for all this, or you just want to use a different weapon and or armor, that's totally fine. I'm just giving a suggestion. Don't feel like you have to follow what I'm doing. I also can't practically cover every weapon against every monster, and I kinda don't want to. You should eventually try and familiarize yourself with all of the weapons on at least a basic level, just in case they're useful to you later on. You never know. The right weapon in the right fight can make all the difference in the world. The Monster Hunter world. It's worth noting that one of the requirements to unlock Dancing Fire and Lightning to unlock a feline attack drink upgrade is to hunt three Baroths. You should treat this as a short-term goal and do it right away before you forget. It'll be good practice and you may get enough materials to make something useful later on. Now, let's talk about Baroth's attacks.
For this hunt, we're given cleansers. Cleansers will remove ailments such as being covered in mud. Its effect is immediate, which is good if you're in a tight spot. Baras should start in area 3. You can get there starting in area 1 or 7. It's up to you. Remember this shortcut to area 7. It's pretty useful. Make sure to use a paintball, just in case. I left Baroth's hit zones right before this hunt. If you look at it, you'll notice that Baroth takes more damage from water element when he's covered in mud. Once the mud is removed, the water element weakness is also removed and replaced with a fire weakness. There's a handful of monsters with conditional weaknesses slash strengths in 3rd gen. It's neat. Apart from that, Baroth's weakest part are his hands. They can be kinda hard to hit. Being right under his head, you also run the risk of hitting that instead, which will likely make you bounce. Speaking of his head, if you hit it enough times with impact damage, a chunk of it will fly off and you can carve it. His tail can also be severed. And as a side note, Baroth has a sort of side tackle, basically a hip or shoulder check, that I wasn't able to get footage of for the earlier section. I felt like I should at least mention it. This is why I recommend using speed sharpening for this hunt. It's a good skill. I got a bit greedy and impatient there. He's leaving the area. Ah! 
As long as Baroth has any mud on him, his shake will fling mud around from that part. There's an example of being hit by Baroth's tail when he does that attack. And there's a good example of the lack of tracking on Baroth's charge attack. When he's enraged, he does have a little tracking. Baroth shouldn't give you too much trouble. We're still in the early stages of the game. That being said, if you are having some difficulty, try and practice it a bit more. There are some fundamental things that you can learn from Baroth. Understanding the monster's moveset and weaknesses, as well as your own positioning and attacks, is very important throughout the game. If nothing else, I hope you don't give up, and that this fight shows you that you can win if you just keep trying. Baroth's Blademaster armor seems well suited to Lance or Sword and Shield, with a skill that increases the effectiveness of guarding as well as one that increases the amount of KO the Shield Bash attacks do. But you can also use it with Gun Lance, as getting guard plus one early on can be very valuable. Unfortunately, it also comes with a negative skill that increases the stamina cost of guarding and evading, but that can be removed with one decoration. And with two defense jewels, you can also get defense up small. All around a decent option for very early lance, gun lance, or sword and shield users, though SNS should not rely on blocking nearly as much as the lances should. As for the gunner version, it comes with precision and normal slash wrap it up. Precision increases bowgun accuracy, which may not actually trigger if your bowgun has no deviation, and normal slash wrap it up is one of the shot type attack upgrades. These are very strong as they are percentage increases rather than just plus 10 like attack up small, for the same amount of skill points. It also comes with constitution minus 1 but that can be gemmed out with decorations, and with two defense jewels you get defense up small just like with the Blademaster armor. It's a decent early set for gunners using normal shots with bowguns or rapid shots with a bow, which are very common and useful shot types to use. And that's all for now. Remember to hunt Baroth at least three times, and go for his armor if you like how it looks or what skills you would get. Until next time.